everyone, I'm back with another art tutorial and today we'll be painting a realistic owl. For the background, I'm using a bright and light olive green kind of shade for which I mixed some olive green into a good amount of white and also added some bright light green to make the overall shade a little brighter. We'll cover the background with this shade first. And then to the previous shade, I added a tiny amount of brown to make a brownish green shade and with that, I'm leaving little patches here and there on the green surface. Then I'm taking a dry brush and blending the edges by brushing over it. You can also wet the tip of your brush with only a tiny amount of water for blending in case the dry brushing does not help. For the owl, I have started painting from the ears and I'll be covering the whole surface of this owl with white first. I'm using a size 1 brush to add some furry details on the ears that is with light strokes moving the brush from the inside of the ear towards the outside so that it gives little feather like impressions and except for the eyes of the owls the whole area has to be covered with white. White serves as the base here. Now without washing my size 1 brush, I took a tiny amount of brown on the same brush and I'm blending some brown on the ear area. I took a very small amount of brown and I'm using it on the white surface. The reason I used white for the base is that when you use a shade, it blends with the surface and it becomes a little lighter. I added some yellow ochre and blended it into the white on the surface. We are using this light shade mainly near the eyes, the ears and the cheeks area of the owl and also some parts of the body. Next, I am using burnt umber for the details starting from the ear. My brush size here is 1 and I am using very light handed thin strokes to add the details. For the feather like details, use your brush in one particular direction. I am here using the brush from the bottom to the top direction. One has to be very patient with each and every stroke to give clear details. As we had started from the ear, we are continuing to the center of the forehead of this owl, leaving the space for the eyebrows. And I also gave some mild details to the forehead and some near the eyes. And more towards the chin area, coming down towards the body. At the forehead and the chin area, I used small dots and not thin strokes. I mixed a tiny amount of black to the previous shade to make a very dark shade of brown and I added more details over the burnt umber. I am also using this darkest shade for the beak and to outline the face with very small detailed dots, highlighting the nose area and some feathers under the eyes. Under the eyes, you have to use your brush with very light pressure on your hand so that it leaves minimal strokes. I mixed white to the previous shade to make a dusty brown kind of shade and with that, I mainly added details towards the body, the ears and the outside of the face. The 
While doing the feathers, it's best to opt for the dry brushing technique so that it gives you a natural feather-like effect. Do not use a lot of water. Now starting with the eyes. For the eyeball, I'm using cadmium yellow as the base. Then I'm adding a tiny amount of orange, mainly at the border of the pupil and the border of the eyeball. Then either wash this brush and get rid of the excess water or use a different brush to brush over the orange so that it blends with the yellow, giving us a random mixture of yellow and orange. Next, I'm using black for the remaining area of the eye, that is the pupil and the surroundings of the eyeball. Peel the masking tape off after your painting has dried up. Here you are with your realistic owl painting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, if you recreate this, you can send it to me on my Instagram handle, link for which is given in the description. Thank you for watching.